Hey guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. Um, I got my bug out bag um, pretty much set up, so um, I'm pretty happy with it now. I'll pick it up here, show you guys. So I have the um, aluminum, or I think it's stainless. I'm pretty sure it's stainless. I don't remember. Um, I got my um, wide mouth canister carabine to the side with a I just have this uh, strap that was doing nothing so I just wrapped it around the canister that way it's not dinging around pinging off the uh, clips and stuff like that and I also lowered my uh, bundle of parachute cord to the bottom of the uh, bag here okay and uh, I've, I've worn this bag, guys, so I'll put it on right now. Um, this is a lot more comfortable than um, previously when I had the tent and the tent poles and all that fun stuff inside. So I'm not going to put the belt on, obviously. The, oh, I can. So that's, that's it there. Stand up straight for the camera, right? Um, it's pretty comfortable as is. Now I have a lot of stuff in here that I wanted to get in here now, finally. So nothing um, is left out other than I want to pick up a little thing of wet wipes as your toilet paper or for cleaning. So I'm gonna throw that in the bag. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys what's in here now that it's been updated. And uh, thank everybody for their comments and help. So I'll start with the top pouch first. Just undo. I'm gonna do undo all the clips. That way, you know, easy to show you. Hopefully the lighting's okay, guys. Let me zoom in a bit. Um, hopefully the lighting's okay. All right. So this is the top patch here. Um, First I have, um, if you haven't watched this, uh, pr my previous videos, I have a fire starting kit slash medical kit, um, it, and it's in the Spider-Man tin, okay, and then I got some birch bark in here, and this is all concealed in a double seal Ziploc bag, um, which is really nice. Um, next I have my poncho right in the top so I can get to it. Um, it's in its own little uh, baggie here so I can take the poncho out and then use this bag for whatever. And it's a waterproof bag by the way. Um, this is the travel case. It has um, ear earplugs, a blow up inflatable pillow, and a eye mask. In case you're trying to sleep, get some sleep. Okay, I have these, all these guys can go together. I have the Sawyer, Mini Sawyer water filter system. Comes with the filter, the, um, the plunger which cleans your filter back out, the bottle that you can add water to, and then I also have a life straw for my water systems here. I have a whistle. I guess I could put that right on the side of the bag. CR mentioned that, one of my uh, YouTube subscribers. Um, it's got a compass and a temperature probe on there, which is really nice. Um, I can also add that. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure out how to add that to the side of the bag. My camera is dying, guys. So I'm going to stop the video and charge quickly. Um, Let's see if I can actually, I'll just put Primo's charger on and hopefully this thing will stay on for me. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> if it goes out, it goes out. What, what can I say, right? So at least I can at least trickle charge this thing. A little bit. Okay. Oh, 
always doing stuff on the fly, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, that worked. I'm just going to charge this thing, so talk to you later. Hey, guys. Um, I have the camera charging while filming on Primo's power pack that he donated to the off-grid tiny house. So thanks again, Primo. I use your stuff a lot, <laughs> as you can tell in my videos. Um, I'll continue on with the uh, bug out bag here. Um, so, um, other than that, I have some paperwork for the filters and stuff like that. Actually, I believe I have the tent set up, which I can remove now. But I'll keep the water filter instructions and guidelines just to in case I forget. I also have the included straw for that kit in there. Um, and then I have some random paracord short pieces in the top section of the bug out bag. So not a whole lot um, in there. So I'm gonna put this stuff back inside of there just so we can, you know, keep organized here. So we'll shove all this stuff in the back carefully. I'll, I'll keep the whistle out and attach it to the outside of the pack because it's not really going to rot off or anything because of the um because it's plastic basically right so i'll fit i'll attach that to the bag there so anyway we'll go into the main compartment guys um if you've been watching my videos you'll recognize a lot of stuff so first things first I have my um, All Powers portable solar panel. It's in a, a waterproof uh, Ziploc bag. And I also have my USB um, lighter that you guys may have seen. And it's wrapped in gauze so I don't accidentally, doesn't accidentally trigger inside the bag. Because you have to push up and hold for the element to heat up. Um, I've shown that in a video, guys. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. Actually, I'll just show you guys, I'll make this video a little longer so you guys can see every little detail. Um, here's the All Powers portable solar with the two carabiners on there. And folds out one more time. Ta-da! four panels it's got all kinds of little um, attachments this is what I bought um, last year's uh, last year's uh, Cyber Monday it has two two USB outs so you can charge two different things at once comes with a little micro USB to regular sized so pretty handy I'll show you the lighter um, just so you, I know a lot of people will be interested in this. This is called the um, IgniteLighters.com. Hopefully you see that okay. It's, uh, there's the cap to charge it with. So that can plug right into the solar panel. And this will have, give me the ability to light stuff. And if you pull down on this, this activates the ignition source, as you can see. You put your tinder in there, light it, and then close it. Easy as pie. Good for uh, c cigarette smokers as well. I'm not a smoker, but um, I'm sure those, uh, the woman who worked at the surplus store who, s who got them to actually sell this there was a smoker, so she kinda, <laughs> I guess she wanted a employee discount, but pretty awesome tool I gotta say and uh, once that thing's fully charged guys um, apparently it will hold you can get quite a few lights out of the uh, out of that thing so that's good I'm just trying to get the air back out of the bag here ok 
Okay. That's done. Okay. This is kind of um, part two to the solar panel setup. Um, cause stuff to charge, right? So I have this in a Ziploc bag, a large Ziploc as well. We'll open that up. This is my USB powered battery charger. It's in a it's in a nice waterproof bag. Um, I have a couple things in here. I have my Energizer headlamp, and the red light is for nighttime use, so you don't give away position uh, readily. Um, my single AA battery Cree LED light bulb or a flashlight works excellent. Love it. I have a pack of triple A's. The headlamp takes triple A's. The flashlight um, takes a single double A. Now I need to buy a single double A to um, throw in this kit. Rechargeable of course. And then here is the um, battery pack or battery charger itself. It is USB powered. So I can run this off a um, the solar panel, like I said, or my um, lovely donated gift here, the Primo's uh, battery pack here, portable battery pack, okay, which is charging the camera right as we speak. So that's what's in there, guys. Um, and then in the bottom, there's like little instructions and stuff like that. But normally, I already know how to use it because I've been using it for a while now. Um, I do like the headlamps, um, especially for work. Um, if for, it, you're not, it basically, if you don't have a headlamp, one of your arms is tied, or, tied around your back, basically, because one arm is holding a flashlight or some type of light source while you're trying to do your job. But with the headlamp, I'm good. I have both hands. So that's those two. Um, next, I have my, um, this is my foldable saw. Oops, gotta unlock it. Foldable saw. You guys may have seen me harvest some wood with that if you're an older viewer. Works great. And I just put a thing of paracord on the end. And then I have some, um, uh, just some cordage. So this is that, uh, f I guess it's mold mildew resistant rope. And it uh, floats as well. So my, more like a marine type uh, application. Okay, I have my um, survival knife in here, wrapped in paracord. It is a slingshot. It is a, it's not a full tang knife. This, um, this handle is hollow, has a tube in it with some survival gear that I need to upgrade. I want to somehow cut a magnesium rod and throw it in there, maybe a few of them. I have a letter opener, um, and I have the, al the alternate knife that came with it as well, which is there, which is for a fine work for skinning and, and stuff like that. Okay. And there's all kinds of different little setups, holster for your belts and all that good fun stuff. All right, so next, some leather gloves. And inside the gloves I have, um, as I mentioned many times before, these are little clips that actually are super strong. I put that on my pinky. I'm in actual pain right now. That actually has some good bite. It's not gonna let go, it's not cheap. I got those um, at the Dollar Tree, believe it or not. Whole whack of them for $1.25. Pencil sharpener. Pencil sharpener um, making tinder. It has a nice little chamber here to capture the tinder you make. May take you a while to make a little pile, but in uh, SHTF you have a lot of time in the world apparently. So, in here is my, um, this is my aluminum. Uh, DIY homemade survival stove. I won't open it up. You guys can find my videos on that all over my channel. 
I'm from my first one I made was galvanized don't recommend building it out of galvanized because of the zinc when you burn it it turns toxic so get aluminum or stainless um, it's basically folds into a square guys so you can find the videos on my channel um, very nice and I tested it out uh, with this actual mess kit um, boiling snow boiling water all kinds of fun stuff there's my mess kit wrapped in a garbage bag inside the hollow of the pan or the pot I have utensils I have some magnesium fire rods and uh, a magnet uh, it's a magnifying sheet so if I had to start a fire via sunlight magnification okay in this Dollar Tree bag I have a my little axe um, I got it wrapped up in paracord but it's got this really crappy plastic brittle case that's what I basically had to wrap the paracord on to keep it on there and I shoved it in a bag um, handy nice heavy duty little chopping tool and it's actually it stinks it's like off gassing I don't know if that's I think that's the plastic uh, portion the plastic probably no good um, I have my reflective um, barrier so I can use this multiple ways underneath me above me um, have it near the fire so uh, heat radiant heat is reflected off of it and bounces back many ways to use that guys I also have another reflective uh, item it's a emergency camping shelter oh, it's a large size um, eight feet um, length is eight feet long doesn't tell you the width weird but uh, it comes with uh, some crappy cordage inside this as well um, but this you could wrap yourself up in a blanket you could put this around a sleeping bag and then pull another sleeping bag over top if you have the cheaper kind and it'll help uh, with the body heat insulating and like I say, just like the other uh, reflect barrier, you'd have this underneath you. You can reflect uh, radiant heat off the fire. Um, all kinds of uses for that. I have a camo handkerchief. Um, multiple uses. Filter water. Uh, wrap wounds. Whatever. Wash your face. And then I have a hat that has a bug screen built in which is very nice that way I don't have to um, worry about bugs as I travel just sticks poking through the screen and ripping it because <laughs> that will happen um, I have my new addition it is a hammock um, it weighs is very little very small as you can tell has the knots and carabiners already set to go I crafted a um, bug screen that um, encases the entire thing because the bug screen this does not that hammock does not have a bug screen with it so I made this little bundle and I can throw this and it has some overhang over top that way you're not eaten alive by bugs a little comfort item and then we have a large tarp um, good quality tarp uh, this is a pretty big one it has the um, grommets as well there's one and that would be for over the hammock to keep away rain and snow um, or just you can use that in so many multiple ways it's unbelievable and that is it guys so I don't have any water or food in the bag I can add those um, I wanted to like I say I want to add wet wipes a package of those as your toilet paper but tell me what you guys think that's a big breakdown 
of my bug out bag. I'm pretty happy with it right now. It's comfortable to carry. It's not like my um, my older pack where I had a tent, tent poles and all that. It was pretty uncomfortable. This is comfortable to carry for me. I could definitely do that. No, no issues. And I think I got a wide variety of stuff. Uh, my fire starting kit um, that I showed at the beginning, the Spider-Man tin, you can go look up that video separately to see what's in there. Um, and th there's a little bit of medical supplies in there, but uh, nothing too extreme. So let me know what you guys think of my new bug out bag setup, and we'll talk to you later.